I'm good to go? All right. Very good. Hey, um, first of all, thank everybody for coming out today. Uh, as Joe said, I am Sean Porter, Showtime Sean Porter. I think I need to say that for uh, just the formalities and uh, informalities and uh, the so ons and the so forths out there. Um, today, I am excited to make this announcement to you guys, uh, something that um, my dad, AKA my trainer and manager, he doesn't want me to call him my dad today, but something we've been working on for a very long time, Sean Porter Promotions, LLC. We started this LLC, I would say back in 2010, so it's been going for some time, but we have not been active with it. Uh, so it's uh, my pleasure to announce today that I will begin promoting and co-promoting fights that I will be on uh, very soon. Uh, we're looking forward to doing that as soon as possible. Um, that is a part of the announcement. I do not have a big fight set up just yet, but when I do, Sean Porter Promotions will be a part of that promotion and that fight show, and I'm very excited about that. The other part of the announcement that I'm extra, extra, extra excited about is uh, we have a young man in this, in this uh, in this group of you guys today who we will be signing as the first fighter for Team Porter, the first fighter for show, Sean Porter Promotions. And that is Victor Morales Jr. Come on up here, my man. Give him a hand, give him a hand. I want to introduce everyone out there to Victor Morales Jr. This is a kid I've known since you were about... Like 2010, I think. Yeah, but you were about what, 11? 11 or 12. He's 11 or 12 years old. I met Victor out at the wild card gym when we were training out there. And uh, his dad and my dad, they connected on a level. And, and before they left town, they exchanged numbers. And that was about six years ago. So it, it, you can see the history there. And we've been fortunate enough to watch Victor as he grows, as he's grown, and uh, seeing what he's been able to do in the ring. He's been uh, an unbelievable fighter since day one. Uh, unbelievable hard worker since day one and that's going way back to the wild card when I've seen him he's fought in numerous um, world and national championships uh, as a junior and uh, he just missed the Olympic team I believe he would have been on it but be due to his birthday he was not able to to make uh, that run towards the Olympic uh, the Olympic Games uh, so he's decided to turn pro along with his dad come on up here Victor Morales senior Give him a hand. A lot of skill and hard work here. These guys are from Portland, Oregon, and they make it happen out there. And we've been we've been able to keep in touch with them along the way. Uh, Victor here believes in my manager, my trainer, Kenny Porter. 100 percent, just like he said, 100%. to the fullest, <laughs> to the fullest. And um, when they decided that they didn't want to stick around for the 2020 games. Uh, I don't think my I don't think Victor looked any other direction but my dad's and Absolutely. yeah that's awesome and I want to say thank you for that I want to say thank congratulations you to you thank for everything you. you've done and uh, welcome thank to the team. You. I'm also gonna bring up my advisor, my trainer, Kenny Porter. Come on up here. This is the guy who you have all known since you've seen me. You've seen him. Um, we call him the boss. Everything that, that goes on, it happens through him. He is, he is the, the rock and the foundation of Team Porter. Everything that you see here today is because of this man. I am a reflection of him. And so I'm, I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna give him the mic so he can say a few words about both these gentlemen. And then uh, we'll, we'll interview both these guys a little bit and give you a taste of what they're bringing to the ring. Okay, so I'm quite sure everybody was expecting something that we can't give you today. But what you need to know as far as that's concerned, that that is in the works. That's being put together. I, I got that and I'm molding that clay to make it out to what I want it to be. And this is what I call the fight before the fight. So I can't just, they won't even allow me to speculate and give you guys what you may have heard or what you may be wanting to hear. Um, but um, it's, it, it's there, you know, it could be a rematch. It could be a new match. It could be a title. Uh, it should. It will probably be one of the, definitely one of the three. Um, another announcement I need to make. Uh, Victor, 
Senior, and myself will be co-training his son. As far as the promotions and everything is concerned, of course, you'll be with Sean Porter Promotions. That's where Sean will be, you know, doing his thing. And that's huge because the next time we fight, we expect to have our name not just in that position of the guy that's getting paid for taking punches that night, but the guy that's getting paid for other people taking punches that night. And that's huge within itself. So whether it's co-promoting or promoting, that's the direction that we have to be in. Also, August 27th, Anaheim, California, Roberto Garcia, no, Roberto Guerrero. Roberto Guerrero, yeah, I know Garcia as well. You have your pro debut, August 27th. That's on the PBC card, that came from the top. That was confirmed to me today, so they wanted me to go ahead and make that announcement that he will be having his pro debut sooner than expected. Right. August twenty seventh in L.A. Uh, so, um, you know, this is this is huge for us. This young man is uh, he fits the mold of what we do here. Um, he fits the mold of what we do at home, and uh, it just works out perfectly for us. And. Uh, I like to have his mom stand up and, and, and everybody please acknowledge her and, and thank her for allowing us to do what we're doing. He's also got a younger brother that boxes who's bigger than him now. Please stand up. And, and, and the two twins that are here today, stand up please. So, so this is a family affair. It's a Morales family affair, but the Porter and Morales thing is about to combine together. I heard some little rumors about something with some Mexicans anyway, so we might as well go ahead and get it. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. We might, yeah, we might as well go ahead and uh, you know seal the deal. If you guys have any questions for this young man, for Sean and what he's doing, uh, for the dad and myself, please, anybody, go right ahead. Right here. Oh, yeah, we should have mentioned that. Uh, he's going to have a pro debut at about 126 pounds, but uh, he will fight professionally at 122 pounds. He won a uh, junior gold medal at what weight? One, 119. 119, he won his junior gold medal. So um, we kind of figured that that's where he's going to settle that when it's time to start fighting for uh, titles. I'll let his dad answer that for you. 118 and 12? Many nationals? He has 16 nationals. He's fought uh, Cubans, the Puerto Ricans. Uh, he's been with the beat the Dominican Republic. He's been out out of the out of the states fighting internationally. What stood out about Morales' fight game that made you want him as the first fighter? Um, it's probably going to be in this this this. This is not what everybody's looking for because, you know, truthfully, I don't talk kids into taking punches. I just don't do it. So that, that to me, just sounds really um, stupid. Hey, come here, man. Let me show you how to get hit in the head. I, I don't do things like that. Um, I, I, I went through that whole entire amateur system, and I was a part of all of that for over 20-some-odd years. Uh, I think I got my first guy to the Olympic trials uh, in 2004. And then I had five guys at the trials in 2008. Three guys made the team. One was the outstanding boxer. I wound up being the technical coach for the 2012 Olympic team. And along the way, I come in contact with a lot of young men, and they're doing very well on, on high levels now. I mean, the Charlo brothers, I had them in camps in Northern Mission when they were 14. Errol Spence, I was his head coach in Russia, you know. We, we, we've, we've, we've been that route with everything. So it's not just the fact that the kid can fight. It's the intangibles that you can't see. Um, the family, that structure that he has behind him. Uh, the communication and um, understanding that this is not about him becoming rich or not about him becoming famous. This is a passion that he has and his family's behind him to help him in anything that he chooses to do. So if he comes back tomorrow and says, Coach, I changed my mind, I want to be an artist, then that's what we're going to do. We're going to be painting pictures. You're going to say, hey, first, you're going to say, man, let me see some art. 
<laughs> let me see some art. With, with art. Uh, to answer that question as well, Victor, uh, from day one, like I said, he's been just a hard worker. You can see the excitement in, in, in his energy when he's performing, uh, both in the gym and then also in fights as well. Uh, the kid is slick. Uh, you know, you know us, you know what we're about. We're all about, you know, keeping everything tight. Uh, we have a small circle. Uh, we try to be professional at all times. And so when we branch off, we need everyone to be a reflection of what we are. And uh, that's what we get with the, with, the, with the Morales family. We get that. We get that these guys are going to be professional. They're going to be on time. <laughs> they're they're going to work hard, and they're going to perform very well, you know, as a unit. And uh, the reason why I say they is because... You know, um, you know, a lot of fighters go in the ring by themselves, but when, when you have this tight uh, love in your corner, you're not alone.